like to greet the mothers, the babies, the pregnant ladies, and all of those that are watching us with the peace of the Lord Jesus. Let's begin our class. For this, let's close our eyes so we can plead by the blood of Jesus. Lord, we plead by the blood of Jesus, asking for peace, for fellowship. May you clean our hearts. In the name of Jesus, amen. Glory to God. Let's begin praising the Lord with the song, I Can Do All Things. I can do all things through he who strengthens me. I can do all things through he who strengthens me. I fly like an eagle. I cross mountains and valleys. I fly like an eagle. I cross mountains and valleys. I can do all things through he who strengthens me. I can do all things through he who strengthens me. I overcome giants, I overcome lions, I overcome the wolves of the world. I overcome giants, I overcome lions, I overcome the wolves of the world. I can do all things through he who strengthens me. I can do all things through he who strengthens me. I believe in a God that lives and reigns. I believe in a God that wins for me. I believe in a God that lives and reigns. I believe in a God that wins for me. I can do all things through he who strengthens me. I can do all things through he who strengthens me. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Let's continue praising the Lord. The next song is To Pray is Good. To pray is good, to pray is good. It's good for the soul, it's good for the heart. It brings joy to the soul, it brings joy to the heart. To pray is good, to pray is good. Our God responds, removes the affliction. Our God responds, comforts the heart. Today, we're going to learn one more story from the Bible, this book right here, the Word of God. Today's story is written in the book of Daniel, chapter 6, verse 23. Now, the king was exceedingly glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no injury whatever was found on him because he believed in his God. Hallelujah. So today's story is about a servant of the Lord called Daniel. Daniel grew up in the presence of the Lord, like you guys. And one day, he went to live here in the palace in Babylon. And in the palace, there was a king. Look at Daniel right here, close to the king in the palace. Look at the king right there, sitting in his throne, Daniel. And did you know that the king loved Daniel? They were friends. So Daniel was always near him. And these other people were other princes, people that worked there, that helped in the palace. They helped govern the palace in Babylon. And these men right here, they did not like Daniel. You know what they did? They wrote a law. They made a law. So that in 30 days, no one could pray to God. 
you think Daniel could say one day without praying? Can you say a day without praying? Without talking to God? We can't. We pray before we go to sleep, when we wake up, when we're going to eat. And Daniel also couldn't stay this long without praying. So when Daniel got home, he went to his room, he closed his eyes and prayed to the, prayed to the Lord. And one of those men saw him, saw him. And they went to the king and they told the king, look, Daniel was praying. So Daniel was put right here in the den, the den of the lion. You know what a den is? It's this hole right here. And in this hole, the lions are put in there. Do you see it? They were placed inside of the den. Look at the lions. I'm going to put all of them right in there. And after this, Daniel was placed inside the den. And I ask you, do you think Daniel was scared to go inside the, the den of the lions? No. Daniel was not afraid because he had a living faith in his heart. Daniel had the certainty. He had the certainty that God was going to protect him and, and bless him. So Daniel went inside of the den. And the den was covered by a rock. And the king, with his ring, he sealed it. Now there was no way. Daniel was going to spend the night in there with the den, in the den of the lions. So when the morning came, you know what the king did? He wanted to, to go see what happened to Daniel. And he yelled, Daniel. And Daniel responded. And they took out the rock. And look at Daniel. He was alive. Hallelujah. Praise to Jesus. And you know what Daniel said to them? Daniel said that his God, he sent an angel from heaven. And he closed the mouth of the lion. Hallelujah. See how God is amazing? He sent an angel from heaven, and that, that angel closed the mouth of the lion. And Daniel, nothing happened to him. He wasn't injured. You know why? Because Daniel had a living faith in his heart. Because Daniel trusted in God. Faith is a gift from God that comes from heaven to our hearts. So we need to believe. We need to trust in the Lord. And God will always protect us, and he will save us, and he will deliver us. Do you have a living faith in your heart? If you don't have it, just open your heart up and accept Jesus. And God will give you this amazing gift, which is a living faith in your heart. So you can believe and trust that God will protect you. And now a word to the mothers. In the same way that Daniel grew in the presence of the Lord, and he had faith, he got all the spiritual inheritance, the same way our children have this blessing. And we need to pray. Please to the Lord. So that wherever they are, they will have victories in their lives. Now let's sing one more song. Jesus is our victory. Jesus is our victory. He takes us to his glory. Delivers us from all danger. Jesus is our great friend. I am happy for I have met Jesus. And now I walk in his light. In eternity with Jesus I'll live. And with the angels I'll forever adore him. Hail the King, hail the King. Hail the King, hail the King. Hail the King, hail the King Jesus. Hail the King Jesus. Now, we're going to end our class. Let's close our eyes so we can pray. Lord, 
We glorify you. We bless you for this teaching because we know that we can trust you, that you are here to protect us. We thank you for this living faith in our hearts. And we ask you, may you always bless us. In the name of Jesus, amen. Peace of the Lord.